Hello, my name is Harriet Bly, and today we're going to talk about your kidneys and their need for clean, living, healthy water to thrive and to survive. Most people have two kidneys, and most people do not give their kidneys a second thought until they're compromised. Or those who do not drink enough water could really be setting themselves up for some kidney disorders in the future. Your kidneys are bean-shaped. They're about the size of your fist, located in your abdominal cavity toward your back at your waistline, and they're located on either side of your spine. Your kidneys are so hardworking. These are some of the things that they do for you. They clean your blood by filtering it and excreting waste, toxins, salt, and urea. Urea is created by your cell metabolism. They regulate your blood pressure. Your kidneys need pressure to filter your blood. So your kidneys control your blood pressure by sending signals causing your arteries and veins to constrict or relax, increasing or decreasing circulating blood volume. They also control your acid-base regulation. Food and beverages add acid or they add base. So one of the jobs of your kidneys is to keep your pH in balance. They also stimulate the production of red blood cells and red blood cells carry oxygen. Now, your kidneys are slaves. They work tirelessly to filter your entire body blood supply. For an adult, that is about a gallon and a half, and they do this about 20 times a day. When your kidneys lose their filtering ability, you can have very dangerous levels of fluids and waste products build up. Now, how will you know when you're headed for kidney disease or kidney trouble? Odorous urine, dog urine, start having, uh, creating kidney stones. You can have very, very low urine output. When you go to your physician, you could begin to have poor kidney function with your urine and with your blood tests when taken there as well. You can protect your kidneys now by limiting drinking dehydrated beverages like Cokes and coffee and teas and alcohol. Uh, avoid kidney disease and kidney stones by drinking lots of living alkaline water and educating yourself about how to take care of your body and how to take care of your kidneys. If you like what you've seen here, you can get water education at gotwaterinformation.com. You know